To those of my viewers who are employed, have you ever had just a crappy day at work? Yeah, I had one of those. And the only good thing that came of it was it gave me quite the story to use as a subject for this vlog. So, this past Wednesday I went to work like usual. I got there about a half hour early. Um, I usually like to do that just so I can, you know, have something to drink, get some food, something like that, so that I don't, like, starve while I'm on my shift. And I got told to clock in early. It's pretty rare for that to happen, and the only reason it happens is if the lunch rush gets really, really bad, and lunch shift people have to pull in afternoon shift people early, and then those people go over their time limit for their shift, and they have to take a 30 minute break before the dinner rush. So that really should have tipped me off in the beginning that it wasn't going to be such a great night. Once I clocked in, the guy that I was working with that night, he went on his 30 minute break, and it was fairly calm for about 20 minutes or so. Just kind of steady th flow of people. But then I went back to the manager's office, and a coworker of mine, who I hadn't seen that day yet, she apparently had to go to the hospital about an hour earlier. And she had to get a shot for pain because she had a horrible migraine. I don't really know the full story of what it was, but the shot messed her up pretty bad. She was feeling really sick, and she was not feeling good at all. And she ended up puking all over the manager's office. That's not a good start to the shift. Now, when that happened, I, I got puked on a little bit. I also had to clean up the puke. And then, as I was finishing cleaning up the puke, I was squeezing out the mop. Just almost done. And the mop broke. And I got splashed. As you can imagine, I instantly wanted to eat an entire container of disinfectant. At that point, I just kind of finished my mopping job there, got cleaned up a little bit, and things started to go back to normal. That lasted, oh, about 30 seconds. All of us in the kitchen started to notice that the temperature seemed to be rising. Apparently, our air conditioning, or I'm not sure if it was the air conditioning itself or the thermostat, got broken and it was set at a minimum of like 80 degrees and the temperature in the kitchen read about mm, 92, 95. So by that time we're all sweating like a bunch of pigs and it's really hot, not fun. Then three of our freezers go out. So then I had gotten puked on, it was 95 degrees in the store and we had ice cream cakes just falling out of their containers. At first only two freezers failed and we moved a bunch of stuff into our uh, walk-in freezer which holds a lot of the meat and everything. Eventually, that meat freezer overheated and just cut itself off, and so everything starts thawing in there. So we're kind of just screwed at that point. Luckily, it did eventually cut back on, and things got back frozen, but we did lose a lot of stuff that way. What we realized afterwards was that in the process of all that, lots and lots of ice cream had gotten spilled on the backline floor. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to mop up dried ice cream, but it's really irritating, and everything sticks to it, and forms like this cement gum on the floor that is like almost impossible to get up. You may be thinking, but John, why didn't you just mop it up right when it went down? Well, critical YouTube commenter, there's two reasons. One, we didn't realize that ice cream was there for quite a while, and it was already about half dried. Two, once we realized it was there and we started to try and mop it up, we got our Wednesday night rush. On Wednesdays, around 7 or 8 o'clock, we get church group rushes. They all come in, they all want food, ice cream, everything, no one gets a break. So as soon as we're trying to clean all this crap up, the store is flooded and we can't do anything. So now, since we've been trying to save ice cream and food and people from just either baking or try to get things caught up, we've gotten behind on the dishes and we've gotten behind on keeping food up and now we're getting food orders. And so that lasts about mm, an hour hour and a half, maybe. Once that's done, it's pretty calm, but we're way behind. A lot of stuff hadn't gotten done in that amount of time that should have been done earlier. Now, from this time forward, it's a little less interesting because from there it's pretty much just catching up and a bunch of crap trying to fix things that went wrong. I was closing that night and 9.30 rolls around. 9.30 is when we're supposed to buff the grill so that it's nice and shiny and pretty and sparkly for the morning shift people. Like most flat grills in fast food restaurants, it's on wheels. Now, what I usually do is make sure that the brakes on the wheels are locked before I start buffing because when you buff the grill, you basically take this porous stone thing, whatever the heck it's made out of, and you basically just scrub the grill with fryer grease on it until it's shiny. Apparently, I managed to disengage one of those brakes with my foot. And just as I was finishing buffing the grill, I noticed my entire left leg and foot were getting really warm. I looked down. I had evidently shaken the grease drawer, the grease trap, open 
and was actively splashing hot grease onto my leg. Now while this wasn't fun for me, I'm pretty sure it was pretty darn entertaining for everyone else in the store because I promptly started doing some weird dance on one leg around all of backline, screaming like a retarded chicken. It didn't even burn me that bad or anything, it just really, really freaked me out. So at that point, I'm feeling kind of sick and just kind of want to stab everyone that comes in the restaurant. If you'd like to leave a comment relating one of your bad day stories, I would love to read them and I'm sure the other viewers would like to see them as well, so leave those in the comment section. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it helps me out a lot. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Um, also, as a side point, I've been considering writing and recording some theme music for the vlogs, for like the intro and the outro, maybe some background music, I'm not sure. Leave your thoughts on that, what you think would be good, if you think it needs it, any suggestions you have at all, I'd love to hear them. But that about does it for this week's vlog. Be sure to come back next week for the next episode, and I will see you guys then.